Whether you're preparing to run the 5K or conquer 26.2 miles of the marathon, you've almost made it to the starting line of the Baltimore Running Festival. At Hearst Tower in New York City, Men's Health Magazine fitness director Ebenezer Samuel says, training for races includes much more than pounding the pavement. I think the great thing about strength training for running too is you don't understand the performance benefits you can get when your legs are stronger, when your core is stronger, that's every single stride, you have a little bit more power. Imagine finishing your marathon in about 100 less steps. That's the benefit you get from strength training. Samuel says there are some easy moves that you can incorporate into your training that will help propel you to the finish line. We're gonna hold a dumbbell in our opposite hand, get this hand out here in the fist so that we're nice and strong, and then step back, lower until our back knee touches the ground, stand as fast and powerful as you can and really squeeze your glute, because that squeezing of the glute is what's gonna make this a really great runner move. To help your back and forearms, Samuel says, try plank rows. Get into a push-up position. Goal of this is to keep my hips and shoulders facing the ground the entire time while I row up, hold for two seconds, and then lower back down. Here's one that you may have never heard of, a pow-off press, which he says is one of the best ab exercises you can do. You'll need a band for this one. When it's set up somewhere far from us, we're going to line up on our knees and we're going to think about keeping our knees, hips, and shoulders stacked and facing right in front of us. From there, all we're going to do is we're going to extend and hold for two seconds. Samuel says, remember, you are strength training to support your running. You're going to be more connected to your body when you're running too, which is a huge thing because if I kind of understand the muscles that are fatiguing and I can sort of tweak my form a little bit because I understand my body that way, I'm going to be a lot better at the end of my run and I'm going to be a lot more injury free. He adds that just two days of strength training a week will really benefit your running mission. In New York City, Lacey Griffith, WBAL, TV 11 News.